Hello and welcome back to another video. Today, as the title says, I will be making Chewy's Creamy Jalapeno. I have been craving this shit for weeks, actually technically months, several months now, I have been craving this Chewy's Creamy Jalapeno. For the uninitiated, Chewy's is a Tex-Mex restaurant. Um, it is a chain restaurant. It's all over the lower part of the United States, maybe some on the Eastern coast, but definitely none up in the Pacific Northwest. So I have not been able to have any Chewy's for a very long time. I moved to Washington about a year ago and I actually worked at Chewy's for a few years. I think it was like three years. I wish to make no comments on my time at Chewy's <laughs> for legal reasons. <laughs> Kidding, mostly. But seriously though, I did actually work at Chewy's for a really long time. Insert picture here if I have one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get out all of our ingredients. I forgot my apron. Here we go. All right, here are all of the necessary ingredients. And actually I got tomatillos. So I'll go ahead and put the recipe that I'm using in the description down below. Tomatillos are an option, optional. Having worked at Chewy's, I don't know if you can't tell by looking at me, I worked in the front of house. <laughs> I never actually made the creamy jalapeno at Chewy's while I was working at Chewy's, but I've seen it made a few times and I'm 99% sure tomatillos did not go in there. Maybe like 90% sure tomatillos didn't go in there. I'm actually going to leave these out. Now, a few things, um, get full fat everything and don't do Miracle Whip. You want real mayo and you don't want to do any of the like reduced fat. It's at least if you're trying to make it taste like Chewy's creamy jalapeno. You want all of the fats, all it's all in there. The the recipe actually tells you to do one thing, like mixing all of the like milk baked products in one bowl and then adding it to. We're going a little off book because I've done the mixing thing and it really doesn't seem to make all that much of a difference in the long run. And it definitely like makes everything harder. You get another bowl dirty for literally no reason. So yeah, we're not, we're not doing that today. Going a little rogue here. We need a half a cup of cilantro. So I am just gonna start picking at these leaves. To be honest with you, I'm, in case you didn't watch my last cooking video. <laughs> ah. Oh. I'm not a chef. In that video, I actually said I would never do another cooking video. The only reason we're here right now is because there's absolutely no heat involved in this process at all. Uh, so yeah, with cilantro, I genuinely don't know if you can like just put the whole stem in there, especially because we're putting this in the blender. It might just be, it might be totally fine if you just like took a whole chunk of it, shoved it in the blender. I am not brave enough to try that, but if you guys try that, you let me know how that goes for you. Just wanted passion from you. I know the new Billie Eilish album came out like months ago, but I've been listening to it this morning. Some good shit. Billie Eilish is like, she's my girl. I don't personally know her. I'm a regular person. Not that Billie is not a regular person. She and I just, I don't think, hang out in the same spaces, especially because most of the spaces that I hang out in are my room at home. I don't think Billie Eilish uh, would be there. Although she's more than welcome. Billie, if you ever see this video, come on over, you're invited. Okay, this is gonna get a little bit interesting because I brought out my ninja, but I can't find the blade. So yeah, I can't find the blade for this thing. This is not, not the actual blades. No, that's, ain't gonna chop shit. We're gonna try and put it in this thing, but this is much smaller than this, so we're gonna see how this goes. Also never used this before. Cool. Oh, okay, we're getting there. Okay, I changed my mind again. I genuinely don't think all of the creamy jalapeno is gonna fit in this thing, and I'm not dealing with an overflow situation, so we're gonna do this in the blender. <laughs> all my videos go so well. All right, so in the literal blender, we're gonna put all of our cilantro. It says a half a cup tightly packed I'd say this is probably about a cup, not tightly packed, so good enough. And then in here, we are also going to put our pickled jalapenos, specifically pickled. Now it calls for three fourths of a cup and up to a cup of the juice inside. We are going to eyeball this because 
Measuring isn't my favorite thing to do. Feels like a good amount of jalapenos. And then I'm just gonna pour some juice in here. So for those that don't know, creamy jalapeno is a creamy, <laughs> it is a creamy, spicy dip that's meant for dipping like tortilla chips in. It can be also used as a sauce for things on top, like enchiladas or something like that. Um, because it is milk-based, it doesn't do well getting heated up. So if you are going to use it for like topping on enchiladas, cook the enchiladas first and then add your sauce. Otherwise, I don't know if you know what cooked milk looks like, but not appetizing. So do you have anything else to add to the blender? I think I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic salt, a fourth of a teaspoon. Sure. And I think I'll go ahead and add my ranch. It's the whole packet. Be sure you get the regular ranch seasoning and not the like stuff to make ranch dressing. It is different. I don't know why, because I'm not a chef, but they're different. I'm gonna add a little more juice from my jalapenos because I don't mind things spicy at all. And before I add any of my milk-based product, I'm gonna go ahead and run this through the blender so it's nice and chopped up before we add our milk products. Just wanted passion from you, I still do. Okay, I ran it through my Ninja for about 30 seconds on the food puree setting. And this is what we have. It smells like jalapenos and ranch. <laughs> Pretty much what we're making. So. Just want passion from you. And then now we're going to measure out all of our other things. Okay, let's do buttermilk first so I can go ahead and put it back in the fridge. Half a cup of this. What a passion from you. Okay, I will actually be measuring the milk product things because I don't want to fuck that part up. And it says if I want it thinner, I can add a little bit more buttermilk. I prefer it pretty thin. What are we doing? Half a cup? Half a cup. So just over half a cup, right in between four and six ounces. And then three fourths of a cup of both mayo and sour cream. I'm trying to make as few dishes as possible. So we're going to use the same measuring cup for both our sour cream and, oops, our mayo. Trying to decide which one to do first. I think the sour cream first is the right move. We'll see. And it's three fourths of a cup and I don't have a three fourths of a cup measuring thing. So fourth three times, let's do it. Maybe I should just scoop it in like that. Ooh, that was interesting. I just got the biggest ick. I like, I'm not a huge fan of sour cream. I don't, I don't love the consistency of sour cream. <laughs> There's one, sure, two and three said i was gonna measure and then i kind of measured it's fine okay now the mayo quickly rinsed off my tools <laughs> you know what's grosser than the consistency of sour cream the consistency of real mayonnaise Ugh, i'm making a mess you know when this was made at chewy's you get like the giant like gallon mayos and they would cut it in half like on the plastic part and just like retch all of the mayonnaise out of there. It made the most horrific sound in the entire world. Truly vile, really. Whoop. Was that one or two? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I think that was just one. I think it was one. For those of you who have a Chewy's close by, in case you haven't heard, uh, Chewy's has been bought out by the parent company of Olive Garden. If you got a Chewy's close by, go now before they ruin it. <laughs> no offense to Olive Garden. I can fuck me up some Olive Garden, just like anybody else, but there's a time and a place, you know, for Olive Garden. <laughs> well, there's a time and a place for Olive Garden vibes anyway. And Chewy's is not the time or the place for Olive Garden vibes, so. I was a little upset when I heard that news and I know some other people are, it's so funny. Like five people messaged me the day that that news broke and sent me the uh, like different articles about it because everybody knows how much I love Chewy's. Even after working there, which my, <laughs> my leaving was on interesting circumstances. So I didn't do anything wrong, I swear. <laughs> I actually technically didn't, I didn't. I and that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Wash my hands of that situation. Okay, literally, this is this is everything. This is it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit blend, and then we're gonna have some 
creamy jalapeno. It's actually looking really, really good. I just, I know that they're like a lot of pepper and stuff is up here. So I'm gonna squidge it down just a bit. Okay, now we're just gonna give it a little mix. All right, it's ready. Let's get a little bowl. And this has made about three cups of creamy jalapeno. I'm actually really, really glad I didn't try and fit it all in that tiny little food processor. I think it would have been really bad. Oh my God, it looks a lot like creamy jalapeno. It looks like Chewy's, like the actual Chewy's creamy jalapeno. Um, and you're like, Brittany, this is a copycat recipe. Better look like it. Sometimes it doesn't, okay? Sometimes it tastes pretty close, but it doesn't always look very close. That looks pretty fucking close. Now, I don't have any chips exactly like Chewy's. Chewy chips are fucking amazing. They're like the thinnest, crispiest, crunchiest, like perfect restaurant style chip. I don't have that, but I do have some sea salt and lime. Gotta find a perfect chip. Oh yeah, it's actually really good with the lime. Really, really good. I'm double dipping. It's my bowl. I don't care. It's so good. It's worth it. It's really not even that much effort. Sometimes it's a little bit of a mess and you have so much. Literally this much creamy jalapeno from Chewy is 20, 30 bucks. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. They charge for that shit. And you can make it here at home uh, all for the low, low price of the cost of the ingredients and maybe the cost of a blender if you don't have one. I really don't recommend trying to do this without at least a blender. You can get away without having a food processor for sure, but I wouldn't recommend trying like <laughs> chopping my hand and then mixing. Or if you do that, at least like record it and put it on YouTube so I can see it. <laughs> I'm really, this is like this is exactly what I wanted. I'm going to be eating this for the rest of the day. I've really been craving that. So I was sick for like four or five days. Creamy jalapeno was the only thing that I wanted the first few days when I had absolutely no appetite, didn't get it. And I also really, really wanted this back in April. In April, I lost my cat of 17 years. And when she passed, this was the only thing that I wanted. And I didn't get it. And I wasn't in a place to make it for myself. So I'm really, really glad I have it now. So good. Okay, one last bite. Mm. It's so good. And mine has a really, really good bite to it because of all of the jalapeno juice I put in there. <clears throat> it's perfect, like liquid consistency. This might be the best batch I've ever made. No joke. It's good shit. Well, okay. That was literally it. That was all I wanted to do. I just wanted to make myself some creamy jalapeno and eat it for you on camera. So. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I know this is a bit of a shorter video. I'll have something else for you guys next week. Thank you for watching. And if you try this at me, send me the video. I'm on pretty much everything except for Twitter. So. so yeah, if you decide to make some creamy jalapeno because of this video, please tag me. Let me know. Fake B. Lawson on all of the, all the things. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.